Welcome to the special city council meeting for Monday, June 13th. Right. Would you join me in saluting the flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Councilors, would you remain standing for a moment? I'd like to start the evening with a uh, moment of silence uh, for the victims of the uh, heinous crime down in Orlando, Florida uh, this past weekend. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mr. Clerk, item number one. We have the call of the meeting. Accepted and placed on file. The return of the notice. Accepted and placed on file. And the agenda of the physical 17 budget and other related matters. Accepted and placed on file. We have the petition of Traders World Mart LLC for a license as a dealer in secondhand precious metals or gems at 21 Torrey Street. Referred to public safety. We have the petition of Traders World Brockton LLC for a license as a dealer in secondhand articles at 21 Torrey Street. Referred to public safety. We have the petition of Matt Bracken, 295 Washington Avenue, Chelsea, Mass., for approval of a registration certificate to solicit and canvas. Referred to public safety. We have the report of the Audits Committee for its meeting of May 24, 2016. Accepted and placed on file. Report of the Audits Committee for its meeting of May 31, 2016. Accepted and placed on file. Report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of May 31, 2016. Accepted and placed on file. Order the Finance Committee for its meeting of the fiscal year 17th annual budget. Uh, the question is on the First Amendment. Mr. Clerk, would you read the First Amendment? I hereby move to reduce from Park and Authority Department personal services other than overtime. $64,700. This appropriation and that account is reduced from $446,492 to $381,792. Question on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Ten in the affirmative. The amendment is adopted. <clears throat> Reduction from the Treasurer's Debt Department. Other <clears throat> interest on short term notice. Account by $200,000. This appropriation of that account is reduced from 14517 $14,517,776 to $14,317,776. Question is on adoption by roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. And in the affirmative. The amendment is adopted. A reduction from the police department personal services other than overtime account by $90,000. This appropriation in that account is $20,970,000. 20, 20, 20, this is a blur here. 978. 978.009 to $20,888,009. That's $20 million. Twenty million, yeah. Thank you. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. No. Ionary. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monahan. No. Rodriguez. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eight in the affirmative, two in the negative. The amendment is adopted. A reduction from the police department, personal services other than overtime, account by $250,000, reduced from $1,020,552 to $770,552. Question is on adoption by roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Uh, excuse me, I'm sorry, no. Ioneri. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. No. Monaghan. No. Rodriguez. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Seven in the affirmative, three in the negative. The amendment is adopted. 
That was all the amendments we had, correct? Yes. That's correct. Question is now on uh, adoption of the budget. We will read certain departments. Questions on the budget for the DPW Water Department. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Will clerk, clerk please call the roll? Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine in the affirmative. DPW Water is adopted. Question is on the budget for the personnel department. Constance, we're going to take a roll call vote on that. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine in the affirmative. It's adopted. The question is on the school department budget. Constance, roll call vote. Councilor Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Sadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Constance, it's adopted. Great job. The question is on the budget as amended. Do you want to speak? Yes. Councilor Rodriguez. Uh, thank you, Mr. President um, uh, and my dear colleagues. Uh, I'm going to vote against this budget overall, not because I'm against the budget itself, but because I'm against some of the injustices within this budget. There are cuts affecting the most vulnerable in this city, and there are recommendations that fell on deaf ears. We as a government, we were asked by the, uh, the Director of Council on Aging um, to support a program in staff extension, uh, expansion to deal with the fast-growing senior population in this city, and yet it was not granted and, and positions were created in hopes of someday bearing fruits. <clears throat> the middle school sports and after-school programs were cut because cuts and sacrifices had to be made, yet this council refused to accept some proposed cuts that could very well have funded those programs in the name of public safety. And I do say public safety because we often think that public safety just includes the police and the fire, but keeping our kids safe in the schools is also part of public safety. We have clerks throughout the system earning minimum wage. We have men and women in the water and sewer department working night and day, and we, as we saw during this winter, working in sub-freezing sub temperatures, keeping our city safe, and yet these people are making barely $40,000 a year. And yet the, the, the 100 plus thousand club in this city's budget continues to grow. And worst of all, what we did to the ambassadors of this city, as I call them, the, the award-winning high school marching band, the group of people that actually promote our cities throughout the Commonwealth and throughout the country, they lost their $10,000 funding for transportation. Yet, we see fit to give the city solicitor a $50,000 a year raise. Folks, we need to pause for a second and think about this. Where is this government's priorities? And where does it lie? When does it stop? As I said, I'm going to vote against this budget, not because I'm against the budget, but just to send a message that Injustices need to be clarified, they need to be addressed, and the true priorities in this city need to be honestly honored. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Councillor. Question is now on adoption of the budget as a whole. Mr. Cl uh, Clerk, please call the roll. Barnes. No. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Farwell. <laughs> yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. No. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eight in the affirmative, two in the negative. The budget is adopted. Councilor Farwell. 
Mr. President, I'd like to move reconsideration in the hope that it does not prevail. Second. Second. Motion made and seconded for reconsideration in the hopes it does not prevail. All those in favor of reconsideration? All those opposed? Reconsideration fails. Item number 12. The appointment of Paul Marion, 20 Bassett Road, as a member of the License Commission for a three-year term ending in May 2019, replacing Scott McDuffie. That report is favorable from the Finance Committee. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. No. Cruz. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yep. Yes. Not in the affirmative. The order is uh, the confirmation. Excuse me. The appointment is confirmed. Mr. President. Mr. Uh, Councilor Farwell. I move that we take items 13 through 24 collectively. Second. Second. Motion made and take, uh, seconded to take items 13 through 24 collectively. All those in favor? Opposed? Ms. Clerk, please, uh, items 13 through 24. The following departments have <coughs> requested the City Council authorize the reestablishment of a revolving fund. The public records, $10,000. Pocket Authority, $250,000. Comcast, $600,000. Bonus Commission of Receipts, $2,500. Repair and Maintenance, <clears throat> Capital Projects for Grape Liners, Revolving Fund, $125,000. The Mayor's uh, Budget for the Manning Pool, $50,000. The 40R Smart Grant Incentive Revolving, $350,000. The Demolition of Buildings, $110,000. The War Memorial Building, $15,000. The abandoned building registry, as well as the closing and boarding up of vacant abandoned buildings, $250,000. Keep Brockton Beautiful, $5,000. And the composting bin distribution, $2,000. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Yes. 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 Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The orders are adopted. Order that the City Council of the City of Brockton petition the Great and General Court under the provisions of Section 8 of Article 89 of the Amendments to the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts for an act as follows. An act relative to the establishment of Bill of Rights for homeowners in the City of Brockton <clears throat> that was read and referred to the Committee on Finance. That report was unfavorable. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Will clerk please call the roll? <clears throat> Barnes. No. Beauregard. No. Cruz. No. Ioneri. No. Farwell. No. Lally. No. Monaghan. No. Rodriguez. No. Stadinsky. No. Sullivan. No. Ten in the negative. The order is not adopted. Pursuant to the provisions of Mass General Law, Chapter 44, Section 53A, City Council hereby authorizes the acceptance and expenditures by the Fire Department of a grant in the amount of $300 from Harbor One Bank to set forth in the attached grant documents such funds are to be used for the areas of youth education and prevention by the Fire Education Officer to assist in delivering the message of fire safety to the students of Brockton, no match required. <clears throat> In finance, that report is favorable. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Ten in the affirmative. The order is adopted. <clears throat> Pursuant to provisions of Mass General Law, Chapter 44, Section 53A, City Council hereby authorizes the acceptance of expenditures of a grant in the amount of $35,000 from the Commonwealth of Mass, Department of Conservation and Recreation. Such funds are to be held under the Parks and Recreation Conservation and Recreation Grant Fund and to be used to improve McKinley Park. There is no match required. <clears throat> In finance, that report is favorable. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. 
Cruz. Yes. Ayaniri. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. <coughs> the order is adopted. Resolved to invite George Durant, a new fellow hired through mass development to work on downtown economic projects to learn more about the transformative development initiative and ex expected results. That was in finance. The report is favorable. Question is on adoption by roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Kennedy. The resolve is adopted. Order that the common necessity and convenience of the inhabitants of the city of Brockton require the laying out and acceptance of Geraldine Drive from Prince Street to West Arjuna Road, a distance of 1,368.87 feet. And for that purpose, it is necessary to take an easement for highway purposes and lay it out as a public way. Refer to Finance and Planning Board. Out of that common necessity and convenience of the inhabitants of the City of Brockton require the laying out and acceptance of Norwich Road from Baldwin Road, Nautilus to Cole Road. And for that purpose, it's necessary to take an easement for highway purposes and lay it out as a public way. Refer to Finance and Planning Board. An ordinance amending Chapter 2 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton be ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Chapter 2 Administration, Section 2-28, is hereby amended effective January 1, 2018. Refer to ordinance. Order that the mayor be authorized to execute, execute any and all documents necessary to effectuate the grant of an easement to the town of Kingston over real property owned by the city of Brockton in Kingston, Massachusetts. Refer to real estate. Councilors, any other items? Mr. President, Council Sullivan. I'm on a personal privilege, if I may. You may. Uh, colleagues, uh, those that sit on the public safety uh, meeting, I, I, safety committee, I will be calling a meeting next Tuesday, a week from tomorrow, which is June 21st, 6 p.m. here in the chamber. Thank you, no. Mr. President. Thank you, moment, Councilor Farwell. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, Mr. Mayor. That's it. <laughs> Just a moment of personal privilege. I, the, the mayor has left, but I. Uh, I want to comment on the action that we took tonight regarding the police department reductions, and I'd like to tell my colleagues about a telephone call I received over the weekend. Uh, it came from a businessman who said that he was contacted by the mayor and he was asked to make calls to change the vote on the police overtime reduction, and the businessman was told that if that doesn't happen, the bicycle patrols, the motorcycle patrols, the footbeats, and Officer Healy will not be allowed to attend community relations meetings. If that happens as a result of the action that we took tonight, I find that reprehensible. And I'm putting it on the public record because come July 1st, if all of a sudden those actions take place, I hope we as a council will bond together and do everything we can to ensure that that doesn't happen. You do not play with public safety services for political reasons. You want to argue about streets? You want to argue about park benches, street lights? I have no problem with that. But no community, particularly Brockton, should have that kind of, shall we say, fear-mongering take place simply because of a vote of this council to assert, assert its authority to monitor expenditures in a department. I'm saddened by it. Uh, I hope that we will still have a very productive relationship with the mayor. But I will tell you that the events of this past weekend have certainly given me pause, uh, something I never expected when I came back to city government. Thank you. Council Monaghan. Yes, moment of personal privilege. You may, sir. Uh, tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock, we will be having a meeting of the Ordinance Committee. And also uh, the 21st at 6.30 uh, after the public safety meeting. Thank you. Thank you. Council Lally. Moment of personal privilege, please. You may. Uh, Tuesday, June 28th at uh, Jack's Place, which is the Father Bill's uh, Veterans Housing at the corner of Ames and North Main. There will be a community meeting with both uh, Councilman Asak and myself about the, uh, the project. And the next day, Wednesday, June 29th at 7 p.m. at the Ashfield Middle School, I will be having my ward meeting. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Council Beauregard. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, maybe I missed it, but I'm sorry. I noticed that Councilor Azak is not here this evening. Did you did you say something at the beginning of the I meeting? I didn't. She called. She's stuck in traffic. Uh, oh, okay. I'm sorry. Thank you. And I, I too, um, 
feel that we worked hard on this budget, and I am disappointed that we have to, how would I say, deny indivi you know, individuals or departments uh, the, the necessary funds to grow and, and continue to serve our city. But I hope that uh, we will work more closely and we'll see continued economic development in this community to further advance our um, revenue base to improve that. Thank you. And I Thank hope you. everyone will start seeing and, and starting a, a safe summer. Thank you, Councillor. Anyone else? We're adjourned. <laughs>